Right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Bloody Mama, 1970, starring Shelley Winters, Bruce Dern, Robert De Niro, and a couple of other recognizable faces that I'll post in the description box. This is going to be another Roger Corman EIP deal. It came on a double-sided disc along with a bucket of blood, which is about the same quality as this movie. I'm saying this is a typical Roger Corman flick. In terms of quality, I'm giving it four to five stars, same as a bucket of blood. At first, I thought I was going to hate this movie, but the buildup was really slow. Uh, started to pick up during the kidnapping scene. And the ending was pretty spectacular. I didn't really particularly care for the mixed messages in this movie. It was kind of cool when uh, Shelley Winters is talking to the Sam dude. And she shows her kind of... Uh, cynical view of the media and stuff. But... I didn't really like her attitude towards rich folk during the depression. She she figures that uh, you know she's just a country girl hick, and therefore she's entitled to steal and rob and pillage her way through life, which is kind of the concept of how uh, government works. But uh, she's. She's doing it um, as kind of a denial of morality kind of thing, like what you do when you use government as means to uh, take other people's money. She's doing it more blatantly with the Tommy guns and whatnot. Um, so that was a little discouraging. I didn't really care for her personality. The ending was strange too. They post a uh, a stamp of a mother as if she's a good mother. I don't think she's a very good mother in a sense that uh, she raised her boys to, uh, to be kind of like amoral libertine uh, bank robbers, I guess and uh, ransom blackmailers kind of people. Anyways, I, I thought the Dillinger movie was better from around the same time. But uh, eh, this one was pretty good. I have to admit the ending was uh, pretty dang good. So overall, I'm giving the disc four to four stars. I'm not going to review a bucket of blood. I've already reviewed it on both uh, the old Yahoo movie website, which no longer has any reviews. They just disappeared, untraceable. But I did post uh, the remnants of that review on YouTube if you want to check it out bucket of blood it's on my YouTube channel I got a new phone so I was having a little trouble uh, getting the uh, the live stream going on my phone but uh, I didn't have the YouTube update and it wasn't capturing my uh, my recorder happy Easter by the way it's Easter day today I sent uh, messages to my uh, Salvadorian date who has the flu she can't date me this weekend, and uh, my good friend from Seattle, who's been kind of a long-distance friend for about 10 years now, and uh, I wish she was my date, but uh, distance and uh, whatever else excuse she'll come up with has always been the reason why she's never really gotten intimate with me uh, although I never really tried hard uh, I've always been flirting with her for 10 years so uh, 
Yeah, send her a little text message. Happy Easter. Send one to Maricela. The uh, Salvadoran who's about the same age. Yes. Yeah, so a little more than 10 years younger. Actually, she's younger than my other friends. So, um, yeah, my son got a couple of uh, Jackie Chan DVDs to watch on Easter Sunday. I'm going to be too dang tired to uh, take him to church or brunch or anything. I'm just going to cook some tacos and pass out this afternoon. So, uh, yeah, my usual spiel. Anyways, um, my, um, dental implant caused my gum to get infected because I wasn't taking care of it so now my gums all messed up I gotta get a, a graft from my palate and uh, the periodontist says eventually I'm gonna have to get the, uh, the implant taken out <laughs> so that'll be fun I'm sure I'm not sure what that entails but I'm sure it's going to cost a lot of money. Fortunately, I have two dental policies, so it won't be that bad. But uh, I've got about 6,500 saved, so I know it's going to, not going to cost that much, but uh, for an hour and a half of work on my palate. Anyways, I continue to save money, and uh, hopefully I can get that over and done with in May. And then I got uh, summer with my son in June and August. Hopefully, I have my Salvadorian friend to tag along during that time. But, uh, oh, here comes a Ford Mustang. Right Hang on, I'll be right back. Just somebody to pop my head and see if there's a room I doubt if there is. So getting back to the movie, sorry about the delay. But uh, anyways, so it's about a mob barker, some uh, hoodlum from the depression area. And, uh, played by Shelley Winters. Robert De Niro plays one of the sons. He's kind of like a junkie. Uh, he likes to sniff glue and shoot up heroin. And, uh, there's another guy, Herman. He's been in a lot of movies. I like uh, I like the Sam character. Uh, that's another familiar face. I'll post the actor's name in the description box. But. Uh, Anyways, pretty cool flick. Um, I didn't really get the mix, mixed messages like uh, her support for uh, KKK and lynching and whatnot. I thought that was in bad taste with the, the photo of the, uh, the black dude getting hanged by the noose by the KKK, presumably. And didn't really understand that. It kind of turned me off. I didn't like the beginning very much in general. But, uh, yeah, she's just a dumb hick. She marries some dude and 
she just decides to take off with her three boys, I guess. Um, two of the boys get caught stealing donations to some government outfit, and uh, they end up in jail. And Mark Barker decides to rob a bank. Robert De Niro's got the shotgun pulled to the bank teller's head. And uh, they steal a lot of money to bust out the, uh, the two brothers who got caught, Herman and the, uh, the other dude. So they bust out uh, Bruce Dern, who, who's like a gay cellmate of the other brother I guess they got some kind of gay relationship going on he walks on Bruce Dern's back and they, they get all horny like a, like they're uh, getting ready to do something <laughs> anyways they, they both sleep in the same bed after they get out and uh, the brother's jealous when uh, Shelly Winters takes Bruce Dern for a little side business off camera of course uh, there's some other gal who's Herman's girlfriend she gets naked in this one topless she's kind of interesting with her perm hairdo it doesn't really fit in with the 30s hairstyle but Neither does Herman's hair, but uh, Shelly Winters does a pretty good job on this one, I have to admit. Uh, Robert De Niro's pretty good. Bruce Dern is kind of goofy, uh, playing a homosexual kind of uh, goofball character. He's not sleazy like his normal role, but. Uh, it's kind of goofy. It's kind of an interesting uh, turn of uh, character type cast for him. Yeah, they just kidnapped this guy Sam, who's like uh, got three million dollars in net worth, and they tried to uh, get the three hundred dollar rent. The three hundred thousand dollar ransom on his head. Um, Shelley Winters wants to shoot him after they get the ransom, but uh, three brothers brothers look at him like a father figure that they never had, which is kind of sad. And, uh, they, they pretend to shoot him. They, they shoot um, the gun off in the. Uh, cornfield, but it's not like, uh, to make Shelley Winters believe that they shot the guy, but uh, they let him go free, and they flee to Florida, and uh, they start doing all this crazy stuff, like shooting an alligator with a Tommy gun, kind of Joe Dirt kind of stuff. kind of guess the ending it's it's not a real surprise after that whole fiasco Robert De Niro dies from uh, heroin overdose and, uh, most of the movie is pretty boring I would say skip till the end I can't say check it out or uh, highly recommend it but uh, I'm not going to post anything in the description box of it anymore actor's name, the director's name, the producer's name, but uh, yeah, I was glad that I was able to get back up on YouTube, get this uh, movie review in. Uh, if you want to see the movie review for the other movie on the opposite side of this disc, uh, search A Book of Blood on my channel and it should be on there. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to watch it again or review it again for you. That would be sort of uh, ruining the first video. You know, the uh, antique from uh, 
Yahoo Movie review posting days back when it was up before they took it down, which was unfortunate. But uh, it did give me opportunity to upload uh, YouTube videos. So, uh, I don't know. Probably better this way, even though I'm not getting paid right now because I don't have enough subscribers, page views, and whatnot to meet the new uh, YouTube arbitrary standards. So, um, yeah, that's the end of my review. I really don't have much else to say. These ladies take it forever to book a room, so that's about it. Um, how do I stop this stream? Yeah, click on the X. <laughs> I'm not used to this new phone later. So.